George Store. Author Frank Ash, illustrated by Bernard Weissman. Copyright 1983. When George was a little boy, he lived with his mother and father in the back of their grocery store. Sometimes, George helped in the store. He swept the floor, dusted the shelves, and even waited on customers. So, when George grew up, he started a store of his own. George's store. We sell a little of everything. Grand opening. Open. Next door to a laundromat. Every day, when the floor had been swept and the shelves had been dusted, George and his pet parrot, Pete, sat down to wait for customers. Whenever a customer came in, George and Pete played a game. They tried to guess what each person wanted to buy. Sometimes they guessed right. Hmm, now he's a farmer and he wants seeds. Weeds? Seeds, please. Now she's a carpenter, and she wants pails. Nails? Nails, please. Now he's a lumberjack, and he wants an axe. An axe, please. And sometimes they guessed wrong. He's a cook and he wants ham. Jam? Cheese, please. Now she's a cowgirl and she wants rope. Uh uh. Soap? May I have something for his fleas, please? Then one day, a lady in a red dress walked into George's store. George and Pete tried to guess what she wanted. A goldfish. A silver dish? No. Flutes, boots, parachutes. Paper clips, potato chips? No. A mop, a top, some soda pop, cats, hats, bats, a bicycle, a dricycle, night lights, box kites, a box of socks, six kinds of rocks, a wishing well, a dinner bell, a toy plane, a wind-up train, a weather vane, plants, ants, pants, a drum, a plum, some chewing gum. No, 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 no. Finally, George said, I give up. Yes, I do. And the lady answered, George, I want you. <laughs> and so they were married. And they raised a family. And they all lived together in the back of George's store.